Hi, I'm Tasha from One Big Happy Life on behalf of The Financial Diet, and this is The Lifestyle Fix brought to you by Skillshare. Over on my channel, I recently did my annual winter to spring summer closet swap, and so today I thought I'd share some of my top summer essentials that are all under $40. Number one, sunscreen. I know sunscreen isn't something that you would technically consider to be part of your wardrobe, but it is something that you wear. So I figured I'd sneak it in here. As the weather gets warmer, you'll likely be spending more time outside and wearing less clothing than you do in the winter, which means more sun touching more of your skin. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, one in five Americans will get skin cancer in their lifetime. Sunscreen can help prevent skin cancer by protecting you from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. So yes, sunscreen is an essential part of anyone's summer wardrobe, regardless of your age or the color of your skin. Your best bet is to buy a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects against UVA and UVB rays with SPF 30 or higher. And be sure it has some amount of water resistance, especially if you're planning on doing some water activities or you know, just sweating. Number two, sunglasses. Yes, the sun can damage your eyes too. Since you can't put sunblock on your eyeballs, sunglasses are the next best thing for protecting them from the sun. Plus, you'll also have the added benefit of having a cute accessory that can add an extra layer of style to your wardrobe. As you're looking for the perfect pair of sunglasses, make sure you go beyond just the design aesthetic. Just like with sunblock, you'll want to purchase sunglasses that block 99 to 100% of both UVA and UVB rays. And larger sunglasses are better because they shield your eyes from more angles than smaller frames. I like to buy several inexpensive pairs of sunglasses that I can leave in multiple areas so that I can maximize the chances that I'll have a pair when I need them. I keep a pair in my work bag, in our junk drawer, and in our car console. I lose at least one pair a summer, so I stick with inexpensive brands that still offer me the sun protection that I'm looking for. Number three, a tote bag. When the weather's warmer, I tend to find myself trying to carry bulkier items on a regular basis like beach towels, changes of clothes, picnic blankets, etc. Our neighborhood has a pool that we like to visit a few times a week. Plus, we're a short drive from some great casual hiking and picnic areas and only about two hours away from the beach. So I always have a lightweight tote on hand that can carry all of those bulkier items, but can still collapse and be easily stowed away when I don't need it. And in particular, I like mesh bags like this one because they're easy to clean, they don't hold on to sand from the beach days, and they allow our wet items to breathe until we're able to get them back home to be washed. Number four, neutral sandals. Strappy flat sandals are my shoe of choice in warmer months. A good pair of neutral sandals are incredibly versatile, which makes it a lot easier to get dressed. For years, I would pick up six or seven new pairs of flip-flops from Old Navy in various colors, but I find that I just don't like having to keep track of that many pairs of shoes. So right now, I have three pairs of sandals that I wear throughout most of the summer. I have a black pair of flip-flops for casual days or days when we're heading to the pool. I have a pair of Taos Trulies that do cost more than $40, but they're the most comfortable sandals that I've ever owned. And I have this pair of sandals from Target that cost less than $30, but that I've owned for the past three years. I wear the Target sandals for small trips, or if my towels won't go with my outfit. So as a general rule, I'd say that having a brown pair, a black pair, and a tan pair of sandals will have you covered in most cases this summer. Number five, casual dresses. Casual dresses make up the bulk of my summer wardrobe. If I'm doing a capsule, 30 dresses are all that I need to never have to repeat an outfit or even do laundry more than once a month. It's glorious. I usually pick up two or three new ones every summer as new styles and patterns come out or as my taste changes change. By the time the weather is warmer, I can often find a good deal on them at my favorite stores, so I tend to spend less than $40 a pop for dresses that last me years. I have some favorites that have been in my wardrobe for over 10 years. When I'm dress shopping, I look for dresses that are machine washable and whose fabrics won't noticeably change color when the fabric gets wet. It's summer and I'm going to sweat, but I want that fact to stay as inconspicuous as possible. I lean towards cotton dresses because they breathe well and can be dressed up with a light light cardigan for work or nicer gatherings. Number six, comfortable t-shirts. Comfy t-shirts are a staple of mine in the summer. In addition to my basic black and white t-shirts, I also like to have a mix of colors, cuts, and patterns on hand. 
This t-shirt is a recent acquisition from Old Navy for $10. I like the pale pink color and the cute bananas. A t-shirt can be worn with just about any bottom, and depending on the cut and the material, I'll even wear them to work, sometimes paired with a nice cardigan. Now, the downside to buying colorful or patterned t-shirts is that they won't go with as many of the other items in your closet. So if you're trying to build a small capsule wardrobe, then you'll want to stick with colors that go with the bottoms in your capsule. Number seven, colored jeans. Bright colored jeans are another fun summer staple that adds some visual interest to your wardrobe. I bought these teal jeans from Old Navy three years ago and I still love them. While it's easy to pair them with neutral tops like a black or a white t-shirt, I also really enjoy pairing them with colorful or patterned tops. I wear these pants with just about any other shirt in my wardrobe from a coral lace short sleeve shirt to a purple peplum top. I actually wear these jeans more than I wear traditional blue jeans during the summer. Now, of course, it's quite possible that over time, these colored jeans will go out of style, and so that's why I wait until I can snag pairs on sale or for a much lower price than I'd otherwise fork out for a pair of dark wash denim that I could expect to wear for years to come. Number eight, patterned skirts or shorts. Now, a lot of people swear by denim shorts during the summer, but I've just never been a fan. I find them to be really uncomfortable and a little boring. Instead, when it comes to versatile staples, I stick with black shorts and white shorts. But I also like to have a few fun pairs on hand that have interesting prints. So I bought these shorts last year from a loft factory store and really love them. The pattern isn't too out there, but it's a really soft fabric and really comfortable. I also keep one or two pattern skirts on hand, and I got this one from Nordstrom this year on sale for under $40. Typically, I'll wear these pattern bottoms with simpler shirts like a white lace blouse or t-shirt. Because they're patterned, they're also less versatile than neutrals, but they add so much visual interest and fun to my wardrobe that they're absolutely worth it. Number nine, versatile statement necklaces. Accessories are a great way to kick up the style quotient on an outfit, and I love a good statement necklace, especially given that I lean towards casual dresses and t-shirts in the warmer weather. Lately, I've been leaning towards longer necklaces with medallions or pendants at the tip. I stick with neutral colors so that the necklace can go with as many of my outfits as possible. So I bought this gold circle pair from Loft this year for under $30. I love that they can be layered easily, but I've actually only ever worn them separately because jewelry trends tend to change so quickly and because I have a habit of losing or breaking my necklaces I always look for bargains that allow me to get pieces that can last a few years or more without breaking the bank. Now that I've shared some simple yet affordable summer wardrobe essentials with you, let's talk about a great place to learn some new life skills, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, business technology, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on essential topics so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. Looking to craft a unique brand to set yourself apart from your competition? Check out Keith Yamashita's class, Storytelling for Leaders, How to Craft Stories That Matter where he teaches you how to craft a compelling story that matters to your audience. Click the link in the description box to join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today and to take advantage of a special offer just for TFD viewers. The first 500 visitors will get two months of unlimited access to over 25,000 classes for free. Act now so you don't miss out and start learning today. Thank you so much for watching this latest episode of The Lifestyle Fix. Be sure to subscribe and tune in here every single Friday for another new episode. See you next week.